in this section, uh, we will deploy our uh, head end devices. So uh, we have the northbound and uh, southbound network. So for the northbound network, you can understand that it is a out of band management network. So it will be used for the management of our devices. So the synchronization between the Versa director in case of HA setup. So this northbound network is going to be used also through the northbound network, uh, Versa director is going to provision or deploy our Versa controller. For the southbound network, it is used for the control network. For example, we have the Versa analytics southbound IP uh, that will be shared uh, by the Versa director to all the branches. So which is uh, going to send all the logs and events uh, to the Versa analytic. So now we'll follow this uh, PPT, okay? And uh, we'll go line by line and we'll see how we can deploy the head end devices. So first of all, let's start with the Versa director. So in step number one, let's log into the Versa director CLI. The username, uh, the default username will be administrator and the password will be Versa123 and Versa is in small letters, okay? In administrator, we have uh, a in caps and then password is versa123. Now let's move, our, move to our topology. So I already deployed everything uh, in the topology that uh, I have shown you in, uh, in the previous uh, video, but uh, I have created a separate uh, video or this topology for the head and deployment. Once uh, we are finished uh, with the deployment, then we'll follow our uh, topology that I uh, have shown you in the previous section. So we'll be using Versa Director, Analytic, and Flex VNF. On the top side, you can see we have the northbound out of band management. So you can see the IP of my VM 192.168.0.22, right? And uh, it will be will be using the same subnet for the out of band management okay for our versa director analytics and versa controller on the southbound side we we can see that we have a uh, network device which will be acting as a gateway for the southbound uh, network it's a simple uh, topology on the southbound side we'll be using 10.1.1.0/24 network so you can see uh, for simplicity uh, for the director, it is the out of band management IP will be ending with 123 for analytic 124 and for uh, controller 125. Same logic I applied for the southbound network also. We'll be using the 10 subnet. And in the end for Versa director, the southbound IP will be 123, analytic 124, and likewise controller 125. Uh, also for the controller, the underlay networks, the MPLS network will be 20.1.1.0 slash 24. And uh, the INET or the internet, uh, it will be 200.1.1.0 slash 24. So the gateway for the controller for MPLS, it will be dot .254. Likewise for internet also dot .254. On the controller side, for the MPLS, we'll be using the same logic, 20.1.1.125 for MPLS and 200.1.1.125 for internet. So now let's start. Let's log into the Versa director. As it is asking for the username or login. So as we checked in this slide, the username is administrator and the password is Versa123. Right. As of now, we can uh, skip this part. We'll do it later. Let's continue. Now let's move to our slide. So we have done everything till step two, right? Now we can change the out of band management IP is taken automatically. If you see here, let me zoom it. If I do a IP config, sorry, if config. So you can see here that it is uh, automatically taken 192.168.0.40.
So we want to change this with what? If I go here, just give me one moment. So we want to change it to 192.168.0.123, right? So for that, we need to uh, run this command sudo if config ethernet zero because in the diagram we are using ethernet zero for all our hidden devices for the out of band management. sudo if config ethernet zero and we'll put our desired IP Let's say for director, we are using one, two, three. It is just for the reference, okay? And we'll say up. So, so uh, we need to type if config, sorry, sudo, if config, and we want to change the IP on Ethernet zero. And what will be the IP 192.168.0.123 slash 24 interface will be up. Now we need to give the password. Password is versa123, right? If config. So now you can see that IP changed to 192.168.0.123, right? So now uh, we can, let's say, let's log into the putty instead of this. 192.168.0.123. Login in, login is administrator, password, versa123. Okay, so now we can, we close this one and now let's see the configuration so the configuration will be if config right so we have changed the ip so we are done with the ethernet zero interface ip so now you can see uh, we can also uh, configure the southbound IP as well. Let's do that also. sudo if config southbound IP, uh, southbound interface will be Ethernet 1 and our IP is 10.1.1.123 slash 24. Let's make it up also. Password versa 123. If config. So now you can see uh, both the IPs are changed. Ethernet zero, we have 192 range IP and here we have 10 range IP. So we are done here, right? Till this step number three. So now these IPs are not persistent. So we need to make them persistent, okay? So to follow this approach, we will go to sudo nano this, this path. So sudo, sorry, nano etc network and then interfaces so here you can see we have first we have the configuration for ethernet zero if ace ethernet zero inet dhcp so first of all we don't want dhcp ip we will put static ip so address will be uh, 192 for Ethernet 0, 168, 0.123. Net mask will be 255.255.255.0. And gateway will be 192.168.0.254. If you go to our next slide, you can see here on Ethernet 0, we remove the DHCP keyword and we put the static here. And we have done the uh, configuration configuration for Ethernet zero. Similarly, we need to do the configuration for Ethernet one, which is our southbound interface for the Versa director. 
so we'll do the same configuration if you check like this auto ethernet one f a c e ethernet one inet static so address for southbound will be 10.1.1.123 net mask will be same 255 255 255 .0. and gateway will be 10.1.1.254 so we are done uh, with the configuration of northbound and southbound ip because the ips were not persistent so using this uh, these commands so now these IPs will be persistent. So now we need to save this. This I already mentioned in the slides as well. You can see now press control plus X to save the configuration and then type Y to give it a go ahead. So now I will type or I will press control plus X. Now you can see uh, on the downside, it is asking save modified buffer. You need to press Y and then just enter. If config, so our config, we are done with the configuration, northbound IP, southbound IP. So we are done till here. Now let's move. Also, we can do the uh, interface configuration via script. Okay. So we uh, have the scripts present uh, on these particular locations. So we can also do the configuration. So we need to follow this path, CD, OPT, Versa, VNMS, and then script. Let's type it. So CD, OPT, Versa, VNMS, scripts. This is this is the location. Now we need to type. We need to find out this script. Startup dot sh. So if I do a ls minus h. Startup dot sh. Sorry. I need to. Grab it. So you can see here there is one script VNMS startup dot sh right at this location. Now we can run this script. Okay, so let's run it. Do you want to enter the setup? Yes. Do you want to set up host name for the system? Yes. I want to set up the host name. So uh, let's say it is director one. Okay. So now it is asking, do you want to set up network interface configuration, right? So we already set up the host name. It will ask for the configuration. Now let's do the configuration. Okay. Yes. So uh, set up the network interfaces and enter the interface name. So first of all, we want to let's say configure Ethernet zero. It is saying that already uh, we have the IP address on the Ethernet zero, right? Because we already configured it. So if we did not configure it, so we can do it from here also. But now we can say that configuration present for this. Do you want to reconfigure? I don't want to reconfigure because it is already done, right? Uh, now you uh, you can see here it already uh, informed you that using the existing configuration and uh, the ip is 192.168.0.1234 ethernet 0 it is saying uh, you want to configure another interface yes i want to configure and now this time i want to let's say configure ethernet 1 so if you do not have the ip configured for the southbound you can configure from here but I do not want to reconfigure because it is uh, already informing me that the IP is present on that interface. So I will say no. So now we are done till here, right? Interface configuration. Now it is asking configure uh, another interface. No, I already done with uh, the southbound and northbound. Now it is asking configure northbound interface if IP north if uh, not configured, default will be accept, ac accepted, right? So I'll say yes. 
So now it is asking us the interface name for the northbound. So our northbound interface is Ethernet 0. Okay. Now enter the interface name for southbound. It's Ethernet 1. Configure another southbound interface. So because we are not having any uh, HA in our lab, so we have only one uh, device. So we can say no. Enable secure mode for versa director HA ports. We are using single uh, device. So we can say no. Now, uh, it is asking that when we are uh, going to use the GUI for the very first time for the versa director, do you want the default password to be changed if yes then you can type y let's say i want to change it okay so now it will stop the services and uh, it will uh, reboot so i'll pause the video and i'll uh, resume the video once it is done okay just wait for some time So till the time uh, our uh, Versa director is doing its job, let's uh, move to the Versa analytics. So let's log into the Versa analytics. So we are on the Versa analytics. So the username is Versa and password Versa123, okay? Versa, Versa one, two, three. So now we are in the Versa analytics. So now follow the same process to change and configure the northbound and southbound interface IPs. Okay. First of all, we'll say sudo if config, right? Ethernet 0, 192.168, 0 0.124, slash 24, right? Versa 1.2.3, sudo if config Ethernet 1, 192.160, sorry, the southbound network is 10.1.1, 1 1.24, slash 24 and interface will be up. So for northbound also, let's make the interface up. I think I forgot 192, 168, 0, 124. Ethernet is zero. If config, so 192.168.0.124.10.11.124. So now we need to make these IPs persistent. So we'll go to sudo nano, etc. network interfaces. And we'll change the IPs. We'll remove DHCP, we'll put static. Address will be uh, 192.168.0.124. Net mask will be 255.255.255.0. Gateway IP will be 192.168.0.254. Now we'll configure the southbound IP, Ethernet 1. Ethernet 1, INET, static, address 10.1.1.124, uh, net mask will be 255.255.255.0, gateway IP will be 10.1.1.254. 
now we'll say control x we'll, we need to select y and we are done with the interface configuration for the versa analytics now let's move to our slide you can see here for ethernet zero we have this and for southbound we have this now let's go back to our slide so set the northbound interface now we'll uh, go to the controller and we'll set the northbound interface for the controller for southbound we'll do it from the versa director okay so now let's go to the controller and uh, the username is admin password versa one two three so let's go back log into the controller now admin versa one two three if config so it already taken some random ip we'll change it so we'll do sudo if config ethernet 0 192.168.0.125 slash 24 interface needs to be up password versa 123 now we'll go to sudo nano etc network and then interfaces and we will change the DHCP to static address 192.168.0.125 netmask 255.255.255.0 gateway 192.168.0.125 Control X will type Y if config. So our IP is changed. Let's go up. You can see here. I think let's see we are on which device. Universe analytic and this one is if config i think we put the wrong ip let's do it again because the out uh, out of band management ip for controller was uh, 125 so we'll go again to sudo nano here it's okay we'll say control x and then y if config now we have the good ip so now we are done with our northbound interface configuration for the controller now see let's what's next so now first of all uh, uh, we'll go to the director let's see if it is up so we'll log into the director again. Restart the session. So the login administrator was uh, one, two, three. So if you follow the slide, so uh, you can check the license uh, show system trial info. It will show you the trial license information. Show, show system trial info. You can see that uh, it is a trial license for 15 days. So uh, if you're deploying it in your because it is a lab environment if you're deploying it in your uh, uh, in a production environment so you need to request you need to run this command to generate the node id 
that will be sent to Versa and they will share some keys and you need to install some uh, certificates. So this will be uh, done by Versa with you. So you need to connect with Versa to uh, do all these uh, first steps. Okay. So now let's log into the Versa director GUI. So now in the uh, URL or you can just mention the uh, Versa director IP, auto band management IP. And now you can see it is, we can see a screen for the Versa director username and password. So the username is administrator, password Versa123. Now I will say login. It is giving some error. Let's try to log in again. So, administrator, Versa one two three. Okay, let me refresh it first. Let me close it and try to log in back. Administrator Versa one two three. So we can log in. So now, if you remember that uh, when you were setting up the interfaces, it also asked if we want to change the default password, right? So we can mention current password. It is asking Versa one two three, and you can type a password that you won't. So let's say we put some random password. Say change. So now I will log in with the new one. I'll say login. So now you can see finally we are into the Versa director GUI with our new password. Okay. So there are different types. Uh, as soon as or as we'll go in this series, we'll explore all these options, these tabs and the uses. So now let's go back to our slide and see what we need to do next for our head and deployments, right? So now uh, we are already done with this step. Next step is to do the analytic cluster configuration. So we'll go to administrator, then connector, then analytic cluster. So I already mentioned this path. So I'll, I'm already in the administration and then connector and here you can see we have the analytic cluster you need to click here click on the plus button here and then you can mention the various details configure the north and southbound ports so you can put any a name for the uh, cluster like vna cluster Versa analytic cluster. So here you need to put the name. Uh, let's say I put uh, the name northbound. So the verse analytic northbound IP you need to mention here. Uh, it's uh, 10.1. Sorry, 192, 168, 0, 124. You need to click on this plus. Uh, sign here otherwise it is not going to take these values so click on plus now you need to click here for the southbound ip you need to mention what is the southbound ip uh, 
port number we can select the uh, secure port let's say put one two three four for the collector ports uh, this will be the port at which the devices will be sending the data to the analytics i will say okay so our uh, analytic cluster is done you can see here so now configure the northbound and southbound port so you need to follow all these steps i already mentioned so we'll go step by step now we need to install the certificates for the uh, analytics to director and vice versa so first of all we need to go to this script cd october vnms scripts again so let's go back to the uh analytic just give me one moment i will log into the ot here also you can see here if i go to analytics uh, we don't have anything so we need to install the licenses so we'll go to the versa director let's log into the director session is expired so we'll log in again so we'll go to put day 192 168 0 1 2 3 So now let's minimize this. So now we are into the Versa director and we'll follow the steps to install the license for the analytics and vice versa. So We'll go to the scripts again. So we are into the script and in the scripts, there is one uh, script with the cluster, with the name cluster, okay? So if I do ls minus l cluster, so there is a, this file, uh, van cluster, it's not WN when it's for VAN, Versa Analytic Cluster Configuration, right? So we found this. Now we'll, uh, let's go to this. We'll type CD and we'll enter into this. Then if we do a LS here, you can see that we can have this uh, Versa Analytic Cluster install, right? So now, uh, we need to edit this file first. So we'll go to this location, we'll run this command. So to nano. And cluster setup dot config. Now it is asking for the password. Password is versa one, two, three. Okay. So now, now we need to fill uh, different informations here. If we go on the top. There is some problem with this. Just give me one moment. I will exit and then we'll do this setup again. Just give me one moment. So I just uh, rebooted uh, the director and uh, let's try again. If it will allow us this time. Let's uh, try to form the cluster again. So the name will be cluster, VAN cluster. So name, let's say I put analytics one. 
northbound IP of the analytic analytics will be 192.168.0.124. Say plus. Port will say 8.443. Southbound IP will be 10.1.124. Port will be 8.443. And collector port, let's say one, two, three, four. And let's say okay. So till the time it is uh, configuring it, let me pause the video. Okay, so now it is the, uh, the analytic cluster is okay. Now let's try again, log into the director 192.168.0.123. Administrator versa 123. You can also check the uh, session like for the uh, all the uh, things that are running inside the director you can also check what is the status of those processes you can see everything is running so now let's move back to our slide so first of all we'll go to this script CD of Versa VNMS and scripts. We'll find this file ls minus l. We'll say grab cluster. We have this file when cluster config file. And then we'll log into or we'll go to this particular location or this file when cluster config. Now, once we enter into this file, we need to check for the install file. You can see here, we have the cluster.config file here and the install also. So now we'll move to this install file. We'll say CD and we'll move on this when cluster install file. And if I do a ls minus l here, we have different, you can see we have different files here, right? We have the cluster setup file. So we'll uh, first we'll modify this file and then we need to run this Python script, right? So now let's try to modify it if it allows us sudo nano. Ah, this time it's good. So now, uh, we need to configure this if I go on the top. So first of all, let's check. So cluster size. First of all, we need to define the size of the cluster. So because uh, we are having only one uh, analytic in our lab, so we'll say one. The second one is the cluster name. So we already defined the same name if you have any different names. So you can change it from here. You can see here cluster name, then the forwarder count. So the forwarder count, we, we are only using a single device. So you know the Versa analytic, it can work as a collector or a forwarder. So we are using only one device in the lab. So our count is zero. So now fill the director related info. So RPC address for management. So we need to fill the northbound management interface IP of the Versa director. So uh, this is the director related information. So you can see on the RPC address management here. So you need to fill the northbound management interface IP of the director. So that is 192.168.0.123. Right now, uh, listen address will be the southbound interface IP. If you go down, so the listen address you need to also change it. Southbound interface IP is 10, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3 for the director. Uh, then 
now comes to the uh, verse analytic related information. So we don't have the second director, so you can skip this part. So now uh, you can see here, it's the when node one, so it will ask for the uh, analytic related information. So the mode, you can see here, the mode is the standalone, as we are using only one device. So you can remove the cluster and type stand alone here. Then node name. So it's the when uh, analytics one, you can uh, put any name here. So like, or you can just leave it like uh, this. Or in our case, as we mentioned like this, so you can put analytics one, right? Then the personality, it's also standalone because we are using only one device. So you need to mention standalone here. Then the RPC address is the same for the management, the northbound IP and the listen address is the southbound IP. So you need to put the analytic northbound IP 192.168.0.124 and the listen address will be 10.1.1124. That is the southbound IP of the analytics. So listen address and the collector address also, it will be same. It's the southbound IP or the control network IP 10.1.1.124. Collector port we have already mentioned, it's 124. Now press control X and then Y. So control X and then press Y. Okay, so now let's see what's next. Now go back to uh, sudo nano cluster.config, cluster setup.config file. So now, uh, as we mentioned earlier that uh, now we need to run this Python script. So we'll run this. Sudo and this van cluster installer.py. So this Python script file we need to run. So enter the password for versa director. It's versa one, two, three. It will ask for the analytic password, versa one, two, three. So now it will uh, take some time and uh, till the time it is uh, getting everything ready. So I'll uh, pause the recording and then I'll uh, show you the next step. So this is uh, completed. Now, uh, post completion of this, we need to run more one more script. So if I go here, just let me type this. If you type help on this one, let me type like this. when cluster install py help. You can see there are different, different uh, arguments. So for the installation of the certificates. So now we need to run uh, this one, post setup and we need to generate the VD certificate. So this one post setup and uh, we need to mention this generate a VD certificate and then our task will be done. So after the PYY, we need to click on this and then the generate VD certificate to regenerate the Versa Director certificate. 
again it will ask for the versa director password versa one two three and analytic password versa one two three so again it is going to take time i'll pause the recording and i'll come back to this again okay now that uh, part is also completed so now we will configure our controller and our overlay networks so first of all we will configure the overlay network that will be used within our st1 devices to communicate and they will form the tunnels etc using those uh, ips so to configure the overlay network uh, we will go to the administration tab then st1 and then setting so we'll go to administration then st1 and then setting so you can see by default there is one uh, uh, you can see already it's configured there so we can configure a new one let's say 172.16.0.0 slash 16 so we'll refresh and we'll try again first let's try to remove this one and let me refresh and then we'll try again so if it gives error like this so we can try to refresh and we can try again let's try 172.16.0.0 slash 16 so now you can see it is deployed and we can remove the previous one So now we have the overlay address configured. We we'll go again to the administration. So this is done, right? So you have configured the overlay subnet range. Now create, we need to create one static route for this overlay pointing towards the controller southbound IP. So now we'll go to the uh, options so that we can uh, have the uh, routing for this particular subnet or your uh, directory is aware of uh, the uh, routing for this particular subnet so you need to put a one static routes for this overlay and we'll point it towards the controller southbound ip address so for this uh, we will go to administration and uh, system and here you can see a static route so just click on plus and uh, put some description let's say overlay network 172 16 0.0 slash 20 sorry slash 16 so now you need to put the southbound interface ip of the controller which is 10.1.1. .1 uh, 125 and the southbound interface of the controller which is this one vni 0 by 0 we'll discuss about these interfaces but you can consider that vni is uh, ethernet minus 1 so vni 0 by 0 means it is ethernet 1 so you can put here ethernet 1 just say okay so we put the static route for this overlay subnet range so now uh, we'll go to the workflows uh, and go to the controller tab and we'll create the organization sub organization and uh, if required the we will add the will van cluster and the support group details to that so let's see how we can do that so we'll go to workflows so basically we need to create now the controller details and our organization so if you go to the controller so within the uh, controller you can see here the name you can say controller one and here it, it is giving you uh, the option to create the organization e either you can directly go to administration and uh, create the organization or you can go to uh, the controller tab try to deploy the controller and then here it it can uh, be done regarding the organization creation so you can click on the create organization so you can uh, uh, put a name for your organization let's say put a cci 
organization ID is one. If you have some parent organization, you can configure here. Also, now you can also call the WAN cluster here, which we already configured. So you can say, okay. Right, so your organization is created, right? So this controller will be acting as a staging controller and post staging controller. So now you need to put the uh, northbound IP of your controller 192.168.0.125. You can see here. So now provide the controller details along with the northbound IP of the controller. This will be the IP address. Flash 24, you can call the VLAN cluster here. So if you have some uh, sub organization, you can also mention and peer controller details also you can mention if you are using a, a redundant uh, controllers in your network. So now we'll say continue. Okay, I think, okay, it's invalid because we don't need to put the mask here. So we'll continue. Country, you can put the country detail. Click on get coordinates and continue. Now uh, you need to put uh, the control network details. You need to put any name here then the interface which is connected to the uh, southbound interface or the control network which we also call the southbound uh, area right which is the control network so the control network southbound interface is vni 0 by 0 for the controller so it is vni 0 by 0 and uh, now we need to provide the ip address slash prefix for the southbound ip which is this one 10 1 1 one one twenty five and then slash twenty four the gateway IP is ten one one two fifty four. Now we can continue. So now we need to create the WAN networks, uh, which is our MPLS and internet in our case, right? So first of all, we'll create the MPLS and the transport domain is MPLS. Then we'll say okay. We'll create another WAN interface, which is INET, which will be will be using for internet. Is done. Okay, so we have created uh, two WAN domains, which is uh, internet and MPLS. So now if we check on the controller, so VNI 0 by 1 is connected to MPLS, which is having the IP address schema in 20 range. So VNI 0 by 1, first of all, we'll configure. Network name is MPLS, and its address is 10.1.1. Sorry, in 20 range, 2111.125 slash 24. And the gateway will be 20.1.1254. You have IP6 schema, IP version 6, you can mention here. And this is done. So now you can configure the VNI 0 by 2, which is for the INET. That's IP is 21.1.125 slash 24 and here the gateway IP 200.111.254 now we can deploy
So now our controllers are deployed. So if you go to administration, so you already uh, created the organization. You can also add the support user roles. Let's say you add everything here. So now you can see here the controller, it is deploying the controller. You can also check the tasks here. So you can see it is in progress. So it is deploying uh, the details that we have pushed right now. And once it is 100%, then we can check. So I'm pausing the video and then once it is 100% done, I will resume it. So our uh, controller is deployed uh, successfully. Uh, now if we see on the analytic, it should show us the details. Now you can see earlier there was uh, uh, no controller or the organization was also not there. So there was no output in the analytics, but now you can see here that uh, we can see the uh, details here you can see here the organization and it is showing us the various details so now we are done with our head end uh, deployments so this is already completed so in our next section now we'll move uh, to our next topic also if you see here on the cli of the controller we can say show interface brief five tab. So we have Ethernet zero by zero, which is having the auto band management. And we'll discuss about these interfaces, uh, TBIs, VNIs and everything. But you can see here, we have created the organization and based upon the input that we have given. So the name of our organization was CCI. So it has already created the control VR for this. And it has the analytic VR, it has two transports, MPLS and INET, which is internet, and the IP address configured by us on those transports. So this completes our head end uh, deployments. Uh, I hope uh, you liked uh, this video and now see you in the next section. Thanks for watching.